Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Mike with Dornlock Tips. I just came across an interesting problem. I was watching the old YouTube channel and they said there was a way to put these cylinders in. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. In a jig kind of like this, but by another brand. And they said, go ahead, put a shim like this, this little shim. Put it over the top of all your little chambers. Some springs seven chambers. I've got all the seven springs and what a nightmare. And I'm telling you, don't do it. I put the springs in. I loaded them in here. I put the shim in and tried sliding it in the face of this bad boy. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. See that? I tried sliding this in and with the springs in there and it jammed in there so bad I had to have to tear it apart with a screwdriver to get it out. I had to repin the small format icy core. What a hassle. Don't use the shims guys. It doesn't work with the lab's brand new jig. So let me show you what you do have to kind of do to be able to get this all together. Put it right in there just like that and then you load the top individually. Now they probably needed some numbers, but if you kind of keep track of your chambers as you're loading it, like say one, out, out two, I mean it kind of helps me. You can do what you want, you know. It helps me to say it out loud. Once you get it in there, like so, just go ahead, take all these individual springs, and stick them in there. Do it like this. One, Two, you can even turn it slightly. Three, four, see you don't want to miss one of these. Five, six, <laughs> you can flip it around if you want and put them in the back there. Seven. All right, I know I got that loaded properly. If you use a shim, you're gonna hate life. I mean it. How in the world? I was so mad at myself listening to the YouTube community on that. I thought they had it all wound tight. Well, you don't wanna do that. I thought, man, I, that's an invention I never even thought of. Just shove a shim over the top of this thing. Well, you don't wanna do that. Well, you don't wanna do that. The other tool that they were showing online is similar to mine. They use these same brass plates. I just shove it in the back here, just like this. And now get ready for the show. Here we go. I'm going to load them all at once. No thinking necessary. They're all loaded. I push this out and look at that. All the springs are in and it all just happened just like you just watched. Simple Simon. My tip for the day. Do not use shims. Even though you think, oh, hey, I just saw that on the internet. I can put a shim right in here. Everything's going to be cool, and I'm going to love it. Well, by the time you get your little needle nose out, trying to pull the shim out, and all the springs go flying, everything's busted to pieces in there, you're going to hate life. So just do it the way Lab said. Don't cut corners. That's it. Please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friend. I'll have more door and lock tips like this coming your way in the future. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, I wanted to give a shout out. Really time saver. They make myriads of tools. Check out their website and you will be very happy with their products. My tip for the day, especially this go, no go. You can't get any better than that. Okay, guys, please hit that like button. Tell your friends and I have more door and lock tips like this coming your way in the future. These are some great tools, guys. You don't know what you're missing. You spend some money. Why give it to the children? Spend your hard-earned money and save some time. In fact, buy two of them. These go-no-go -no -go gauges. Oh, they're wonderful. Thanks again, guys. Whoop. Look at there. That's what would happen if you don't have this tool. You'll be dropping it. Tell your friends. I have more door lock tips like this coming your way. Thanks again, guys.
coming your way in the future.